This week is Divorce with Respect Week, and a look at the numbers shows the rate of divorce in America is rising. According to the U.S. Census data, the national divorce rate in 2022 was 7.1 out of every 1,000 women. That's up more than 3% from the previous year. The divorce rate in Missouri was up 2.5% at 7.4. Illinois further down on that list with the divorce rate of 5.7. Now, while divorce can be stressful and contentious, a group in St. Louis is looking to help people divorce with dignity. And joining us today, we have Sarah Marler with us with the St. Louis Collaborative Family Law Association. Sarah, thank you so much for giving us uh, some of your time today. Uh, this is a topic that I think it affects uh, too many people, but it's a reality for those. And with it being Divorce and with Respect Week, I just want to kind of get an understanding of what that is and how is Divorce with Dignity really possible? Thank you, thank you for having me. Yes, the St. Louis Collaborative uh, Family Law Association is really excited to recognize Divorce with Respect Week. Uh, it's actually been recognized by the state of Missouri this year and also by the St. Louis County, St. Louis uh, Family Courts, um, St. Louis City. It's an important time to recognize that there's a way to, to go through this process outside of the court system. Um, it's a way to get your attention to try to help folks transition from married in the same household mm -hmm. Uh, to untying the knot while not blowing through your entire estate and while being able to maintain your family relationships. It's actually allowing both people to thrive beyond that marriage once it ends. If someone comes to you, a couple comes to you, can you kind of paint a picture? What does this process actually look like? Because I understand there are several professionals that are part of this trying to help a, 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 a couple reach their end goal here. Correct. So if you go through a traditional divorce, it's sort of a one-size-fits-all approach. That's not how this is, is handled at all. We have child specialists that can be involved. We have communication coaches that can be involved. We have financial experts that can be involved. And of course, each person has their own attorney. But we tailor that. Those experts are obviously involved in every single case. It depends on the case and who needs what. But the other key piece to this element uh, of, of this process is you, the couple, get to tailor how your case looks. The court is not controlling the timeline. The court is not controlling the outcome. The court is not dictating what the rest of your life looks like as far as child support mm -hmm. or when you see your children. You and your spouse are doing that. And what does the, uh, the success rate look with this? The success rate is huge. 90% positive results are coming from going through the collaborative process. Wonderful. And before we let you go, uh, real quick, for people to learn more information about your group specifically, where is the best place for them to go? St. Louis Collaborative Law com. Wonderful. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate it. If you miss any part of that conversation, don't worry. We will have that up for you at FirstAlert4.com and, of course, the FirstAlert4 News app. We